Hello everyone. So we will continue our data engineer interview preparation part and in this particular video we are going to solve couple of SQL coding question which is generally asked in interview. So I have a four SQL question which we are going to solve. So I have created one order table. I have also have an insert statement. So this I will share with you so that you can also create this table. If I'll show you the order table. In this order table, I have order ID, customer ID, order date and amount is given. Now let's try to solve one by one all this question. My first question is like customer who has placed the order in the last 90 days. So this type of the question generally com comes where the interviewer will ask you how to find out the customer who had done the order in the last 30 days, last 90 days, last 120 days. So how easily you can find out. So what I will write. How actually we can solve this select star from orders orders date is given right so if I'll do where order date where order date between I have to find out last 90 days right so how actually I can write that so I will write current date where order date between current date where order date between current date and from current date, if I'll do a minus of 90 days, right? So I will get all those record who has done the order in the last 90 days. So what I will write current date minus interval 90 days, 90 days. If I'll execute this, I'll get all those customers who had done the order in the last 90 days. As of now, uh, we don't have any record because all the data you can see for the 2024. So what is the logic actually we are applying here? We are applying the logic where we are filtering the order date between current date and current date minus 90 days. So let's try to see what current date is giving and what current date minus interval 90 days is giving. So if I write like this select current date. This is a SQL. I want to run SQL query. So I will write percent SQL. If I write select current date. So what actually it will give? Today's date is 30th September, right? So it is giving me the 30th September. And what actually I have written current date minus interval 90 days. So if I write current date minus interval 90 days. So what it will do from this date it will do a minus 90 days. So you can see this is the date I am getting. Now if they are asking you have to find out in last 30 days how many have done the order. So what you have to do current date minus interval 30 days if you will do and if you will execute right you will get who has done the order in the last 30 days. So you can see if you will do a minus 30 from here right you will get uh, this particular date. So like this actually we can calculate. I hope you got the idea. Next question is like I have to find the customer who placed order in all the month of 2024. If I will show you the data. So I have a customer ID details order date. I have to find out the customer who had done the order in all the month of 2024. Means if any customer who had done the order in a January 2024, February 2024, March 2024 means every month if any customer who had done the order in 2024 that record actually we want to get. So how actually we can write a query for that. So what I will write select star from select star from orders and let me show you the data first limit to a limit uh, to let me execute and what we had to find out we had to find a customer who placed order in all month of 2024. So first let's try to fill the the 2024 data. How actually we can filter 2024 data? If I write where year order date order date equal to the 2024. So uh, from order date I am trying to extract the year and I am saying where year equal to the 2024. So what actually it will give me? It will only give me the customer who has done the order in a 2024. But my question is like I have to find out the customer who placed order in all the month of the 2024. How many distinct months we have? We have a total distinct month is 12, right? So I have to find a customer who had done the order in all the month of the 2024. So here I will apply one more filter. So I will write having. On top of this data, I had to find our customer who has done the order in all the month of the 2024. So I'm writing having count of distinct 
distinct i will extract the month from order date distinct month from order date order date equal to the 12 12 so what actually i am doing first i am trying to filter all the customer who had done the order in 2024 after that i am applying a condition where this customer had done the order in every month every month of the 2024 so equal to the 12 so every month means total how many distinct month we have 12 right so that actually i am filtering let me execute and let's see whether we are getting the result or not query doesn't include group by my bad we have to write a uh, let me write only the customer id here and also we have to apply the group by so customer id uh, where and i will write group by also group by customer id and let me execute this so let's see what is the result you can see we have a this customer 201 he has done the order in every month of the uh, 2024 so if you want to validate this how actually you can validate this so if i write select star select star from orders where customer id customer id equal to the 201 if i'll see this details he should have done the order in every month so you can see january also has done february march april every month he has done the order so all the record actually we can see so means we are getting the correct result now our next question is like i had to find the customer who placed the same order amount more than once so if any of the customer if he has done the same order amount transaction more than once that we have to find out suppose you are a customer the two times you have done the same amount transaction then that particular customer we have to find out so what actually we can write so what i will do based on the customer id based on the customer id and based on the amount i'll try to find out how many records we have count star group by one two if i'm writing one two it means i'm grouping based on the customer id and amount i'm grouping this and if i'll execute this i will get any customer who had done the same amount transaction more than once i can see so you can see 205 he has done the 350 transaction more than one two times he has done the transaction so that particular record we have to find so on top of this if i write having count star greater than one greater than one if i'll execute what i will get customer who placed the same order amount more than once so you can see these are the customer who had done the same order transaction more than once now our next question is like i had to find out the order above the average amount for the same day so suppose today today average amount of the order is 200 and if any of the customer is doing the order more than this 200 like 300 so that particular customer we have to find out obviously we can write a query for that but i will write select term from order uh, o1 where amount should be greater than the average amount right so where amount should be greater than the average amount so how to find out the average amount so i will write sub query here select average amount average amount average amount and uh, alias i will give as a average amount from order table only but alias i will give o2 where orders o1 dot uh, where o1 dot order date equal to the o2 dot order date order date so what actually i am writing i am trying to find out the order where the amount is greater than the average amount on the same day for the same day right so that's why i am writing o1 dot order date equal to the o2 dot order date now if i'll execute this let's see so this sub query will give me what is the average amount and i will give the amount which is greater than the average amount for the same day so you can see this is the customer who has done the order more than the average amount 